What a day for Max Brick and Tom Daly here in Delhi. Ben Ainsley is about to start his race. Come on! BBC, how do you feel? Unbelievable. We've been averaging a speed between 18 to 22 knots. Oh, that was cool. Brilliant. Bringing these games to India was always a statement, always brave. You can't fault the welcome, but don't be fooled by all the banners. Most went up barely two weeks ago, which might explain why public enthusiasm is translating into some poor ticket sales. We have got the best uh, auditoriums and uh, sports complex. It's now, of course, all about the athletes who are pouring into the city. They really do just want to get on with competing. This is it, the Athletes' Village, and to answer that all-important question, yes, yes it is ready. So, for the athletes from our region that are here, the attention is turning now away from the controversy that dogged the run-up to the Games to the competition that begins next week and the prospect of medals. Certainly quite a party here in Weymouth last night as crowds celebrated Ben Ainsley's fourth consecutive gold medal. He crossed the line uh, just off North Point in ninth position to beat the great Dane Jonas Hoch Christensen into silver to become the most decorated sailor in Olympic history. Uh, despite Ainsley's antics, there'll be no break in the water here today. Plenty going on, seven races in four classes. This is uh, Weymouth Esplanade, very noisy Weymouth Esplanade. The bus is just about to come past. Let's have a look. There they are. That is Team GB Sailors with their medal haul of four golds, one silver medal. Ben Ainsley, Andrew Simpson, Hannah Mills, Saskia Clark. I could name them all. There they are on the bus. This, this bus has been all over Way uh, Weymouth and Portland today. Started at the Academy. It moved up to Portland Heights where a massive crowd greeted it. And tonight, a crowd of an estimated 20,000 people are here to see it on Weymouth's seafront. All hands on the top deck. GB sailors on parade through 2012 sailing town. Uh, yeah, pretty surreal. Um, yeah, we've got the music blaring, the flags around, and um, people come out to see us. It's wicked. This is the first time many in Weymouth and Portland will have seen the medals in person. The ceremonies were conducted at the Sailing Academy, with only those accredited present, although some revellers might have been lucky. And a lot of people saw it, have seen it on the nights out. <laughs> but um, yeah, this will be, you know, to be the first time we've actually really been able to celebrate in public. And it wasn't just medal winners enjoying the adoration, the town had invited the whole team up onto Portland and the crowd hoved into view. Guys, that must be a hell of a sight to welcome you home. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Top of Portland to Portland Bill and uh, to all these people turn out. Out here in the middle, the fences are wired up into an electronic loop via the helmet, via the metal on the jacket, and of course, the hilt of the sabre. And once the sword makes contact, it completes the circuit, and one of these two lights goes on to register the hit. But it's the human factor, the referee who's in complete control, and once he puts his hand up to signal the point, it's recorded on the scoreboard. Well, joining me now is uh, a rising star, in fact, the star of Radio One at the moment, someone who knows a lot about music, uh, DJ Greg James. Greg, is this the first time you've broadcast from Reading? And then um, a few mates weren't allowed to come because they didn't quite get the grades, but it's one of those festivals that's just really special, a celebration at the end of the summer, I think. Lovely, Greg, thank you very much. Well, as we're standing here, we're just starting to feel the first spots of rain, but don't worry, Sally Tony, I'm prepared. <laughs>